This is Abe from AI Synthesis with a quick product demo of the AI003 Looping Envelope Generator. Before I continue, I want to thank Nicholas on the electromusic.com forums for allowing me to make this circuit commercially available. This is a simple patch. This oscillator is going into a mixer slightly out of frame. I'm going into a prototype filter here. It's not really doing much, just filtering a little bit. And then that goes into a VCA, which is controlled by the looping envelope generator. That output is also going into the oscilloscope that I have on the right here. It's a very simple oscilloscope, but it works well. It's like 25 bucks. Uh, there's a guide on my website, AISynthesis.com, as to how to hook that up to your system. And I apologize for the camera going in and out of focus. I bought it yesterday to make a better demo videos. Okay, let's make some gates. This circuit has some nice wide ranging capabilities. The attack knob can go from 20 milliseconds up to 14 seconds, and the decay goes from 10 milliseconds to 20 seconds. The release goes from 100 milliseconds up to seven seconds. And there's no uh, long short switch that you see on other uh, ADSRs. Uh, it's all just in there. So one thing to notice about this circuit is that all voltage comes in through the gated switch jack first, and then it goes up into the other modes. So whether or not there's a cable in that gate jack informs how everything else works. So if I put it in loop mode, but I still have a cable in the gate jack, it's only going to loop when I'm gating. Now we'll remove the cable and just let it loop. This is a remarkable design from Nicholas. It's only two op amps or two op amp ICs that make the whole thing work and then just some really clever diode switching. Uh, so there is one quirk, however, which we'll see right now. When you go into envelope mode, if it's been triggered, either via the trigger or manual, or if it's coming off of a loop from the loop mode, if the sustain is high, it's going to stay there until sustain goes low. So again, that only happens if there's no gate cable plugged in and if the sustain isn't low and it gets triggered somewhere else. Some manual triggering. and explore some actual triggering. So this, I'm just tapping on the keyboard. I know that you can't see it, but I'm not sustaining any notes. They're just very quick taps. And it's triggering the way it triggers, and it will re-trigger as well. That's the AIO3 looping ADSR envelope generator. Uh, I want to give a big thanks to Nicholas for allowing me to uh, take this circuit. Uh, we did a couple modifications with the LED. We added a switch so that you didn't need the sustain down in loop mode and some other things. But it's uh, Nicholas's circuit from electromusic.com, those forums. Uh, he has a bunch of other really cool circuits that are also very simple. Uh, this particular circuit really appealed to me because I was looking for the perfect third circuit for a new DIYer to build. Thanks so much for watching. This and our other modules are available at AISynthesis.com in both PCB, PCB plus panel, full kit, and fully built and tested versions. Thanks again.